going on guys it's your man the authority back once again with you guys with another banger video before we get started guys please as always make sure that if you guys enjoy this video they hit that like button subscribe turn notifications on so you never miss any content on my channel and please make sure that if you guys watch this entire video from this point forward to the end of the video they leave that comment hashtag to the end down below in the comment section so that way you guys get a shout out via me for, uh, on my Twitter as an appreciation for you guys making it and watching the whole video. So what is today's video? Well, as you guys can obviously see, we're going to be opening another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. This one is featuring the brand new King's Court set. I'm extremely excited about this one. Let's get that little over here. Yeah, King's Court. Um, some new cards, a lot of reprints of some older cards. You know, really cool. I'm excited to see what we open in this. I actually already opened up a box of this set. Um, got some good stuff but i need some more so hence why this video before we get unboxing though guys i have a couple of announcements one uh, i want to thank everybody for the recent growth in my channel uh, both on youtube and on twitch um as some of you guys may know from my social media i'm trying to reach at least a thousand subscribers and, and followers on youtube and twitch respectively so if you guys aren't all and uh 300 instagram followers as well so if you guys aren't already if you guys have been coming back to my channel watching the content if you are already please just make sure i will ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel guys it helps um you know my channel grow and it kind of helps and lets me know that you guys love the content that i'm constantly pushing out and that's what drives and that what keeps me you know going to do more videos for you guys at the same time guys um a bit of an update i will not be live streaming uh for the next couple of days as i will be in vegas on vacation with my family and some of my friends um in fact by the time this video goes live i believe i will actually be in las vegas already which i believe this video will probably come out sometime either thursday or friday uh, as today is sunday so we'll be in vegas already so there won't be any um like i said no uh, videos but by the time this video comes out, um, I should be having some more of my Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart videos. If you guys haven't seen those already, I encourage you to go check them out. And after this video, probably a day or two after this video comes out, will be the last one or two videos, depending um, how the whole game goes, of my Ratchet and Clank series. Again, go check those videos out, guys. They are a blast to make. I love playing the game. Uh, without further ado, guys, let me unbox this bad boy, and uh, we'll get right into the video. So here we go. Easy does it all right we'll just push the box overall kind of out of the way just get out of camera range there we go all right now the interesting thing about this particular set is that um these packs only have seven cards uh per pack rather than the standard nine that you guys most of the time see me open uh and through these packs i actually know that uh the rare card is already in the back so we don't have to waste time on any kind of pack trick so without further ado let's see what we get first of all we already got a rescue rabbit which i actually pulled the collector's rare version of this card this guy is a collector here going for anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars. that's nice wicked dreadroot constellar um Potomoly m7 stardust xiaolong Ray Keeper Spy, Reinforcement in the Army, and White Rose Cloister. Not a bad card. Gonna set. Oh, yeah. I'll uh, I'll keep the cards somewhat in the center. Uh, keep all the rares off to the side. Since there's uh, kind of hard to tell, you know exactly. I know. E and besides the popular collector shirts, you're at least guaranteed at least two ultras, um, or at least a couple of different ultras in this set. Um, while a lot of the card, while all the cards will obviously be holographic, which you guys can kind of see a little bit how the there we go, the little shimmer pattern right there. The very large last card of the set will always be something like this. Yeah, let me get that right in frame. There we go. All right, Golden Eyes Idol, another reprint number f0 utopic future which i actually did thought that this card at first was a um this card was banned in the most recent ban list but actually it's um number s0 utopic zexel and uh if you know what utopic zexel does <laughs> you understand it's broken uh pendulum mixes arcane and joker rivalry warlords another reinforcement army and uh veal lazar do e let's just call it evo evo evil doll that's what they used to call it back when it first came out and that's actually one of our uh, better pulls i think this guy's going for about five bucks right now which isn't bad 
Very nice one. This actually used to be the card everybody wanted to get when you, if you were playing the Evo stuff. Because it's actually, it was a broken card. It kind of still is. I mean, when another monster's effect is activated, regardless, and it's a quick effect, so you can use it during either player's turn, detach material from this card, negate, and destroy. I mean, that's pretty dope in my opinion. Pretty damn dope. That's a very good card in my opinion, actually. Gonna not try to talk too much to these because I do want to kind of not waste too much time. All right. Leo Arms. Zolgo the Prophet. Now, this is actually one of the new cards that they introduced. This is kind of like um, the more up the version of the classic Zol uh, Zolgo, Zolga card. Um, in all honesty, though, it's not really that better. In fact, I think it's kind of pointless. Uh, Unexpected Die. Wicked Eraser. Tornado Brainer, Dowsing Fusion, which is another new card. Uh, basically, you can use it to fusion summon by using, uh, you know, by banishing, but you can only use Pendulum Monsters, so I guess if you're doing that, that kind of helps. And Hyper Galaxy, another good card. Very nice one uh, for the Galaxy sets. This is another new, like I said, another new one. Basically, you tribute a monster with 2,000 more attack points, except Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, which a lot of the Galaxy cards do have over 2,000 attack points. Tribute it, and if you do special summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your hand deck or graveyard. And being a quick play spell, you can use this during, obviously, during any player's turn, which, again, that is awesome. Actually, it makes me sad that that deck um, wasn't, this card never came out back when, uh, back when I still played Galaxy Eyes and stuff. I'm a little bit salty about that, but regardless. All right. Ties of the Brethren, Wicked Avatar, Utopia Ray, Rivalry of Warlords, Arcana Knight Joker, Arcana Extra Joker, and Tridang Tridangle Dylos. Which I don't understand why they. A lot of the cards that are put in this set make absolutely no sense, in my honest opinion. I don't know why they put that card in this set, to be completely honest. Because it's the only Tridangle monster that they put in the set. If they put multiple different cards from this particular archetype in the set, I would have understood. But no, that's the only one that they did. All right. Nether Leo Arms. Spy. Topia Ray. Ultimate Shield. Pendulum Transfer. Auto Duality. And a Thunder Speed Summon card. I already got enough for, uh, for the deck that I'm building using my God deck. But take a look at this card, guys. Did that not look sick as hell? shimmer on that that makes it look even nice the reason that i like this card especially for the god deck is because the fact that um you know d basically what it lets you do is not only does it let you automatically do an extra normal do another normal summon automatically when you use this card but the other cool thing i like about it is that if you control jack king or queen's knight you can add a level 10 non-dark monster to your hand with questionable the question mark attack to your hand now if you know this said you obviously know arcane and i joker or, uh, Arcane or Triumph Joker, my mistake, um, it beats those criteria, but what some people may not know is that you can obviously use that to add Slifer to your hand, which is very nice as well. All right, Boxia, the brightness of the Yang Zing. There's Jax Knight we were talking about, Eyes of the Brethren, Tornado Bringer, Starter Shaolong, Dexa Weapon Eagle Claw, and base card fusion another new card that we just got uh, from this set basically it's essentially the way that you can get the arcana uh, arcana knight joker in fact we're also gonna keep uh some of the other cards that i like to keep away uh the unexpected dies i'm actually gonna pull those out as well i'll probably have to pull them out from my old 10 the reinforcements of the armies and all that stuff like i said i like there are certain cards that you like um you know, when it comes to getting sets of them, it's always nice to kind of pull them out and keep them, um, you know, because you never know when you might need them. Like, you know, like I said, Pots of Duality, Reinforcement of the Armies. Those are cards that are, you know, those kind of cards that are um, good to keep as a deck builder to help you, obviously, if, you know, if you're going to be using multitude of cards. And I know this is kind of like a new set. Let me guys know what you think of this new layout and everything. I figured this would be a nice different layout for things like that since these are, you know, the not really the pulls pulls but you know that way we can see everything you know kind of like uh you know like how some people do the you know pokemon card openings things like that okay so we got dread root pendulum transfer eagle claw jack or no king's knight my mistake we got uh jack's knight the last pack 
Classic Utopia, Wind Up Arsenal's Emoya, and the World Legacy Guard Dragon Continuous Spell. This one's actually really good uh, for the World Legacy cards and stuff. And, and it's actually nice that it's actually a uh, pretty easy card to pull. In fact, in the last box, in the first box that I pulled of this, uh, it was a, uh, I got two of them, I believe. That's not bad. In fact, I think um, when I saw on TCG Player, a website I used to, you know, rate cards and things, or to check price on cards, they actually said this was one of the um, top 10 cards that people were looking for. It's not expensive, but it's still what people are looking for, obviously. Okay. Zexal Weapon Leo Arms. Zolgo the Prophet. Unexpected Die. Wicked Eraser. Tornado Brainer. Dowsing Fusion. And Joker's Night, baby. That's what we're talking about. This is the card I'm actually looking for. This is actually a good one. I think Joker's Knight right now is going for about $10 last time I checked. That's pretty good, but we are going to actually keep that to ourselves rather than, um, you know, I'm going to put that online. But there's a reason why Joker's Knight is really good, especially if you plan on using um, the Joker's Knight kind of stuff in a deck. is because Joker's Knight is pretty good because the way it works is like this. You can send either Jack, King, or Queen's Knight from your hand uh, from your deck to the graveyard sorry this card's in your hand send jack king or queen's nine from your deck to your graveyard special summon this card from your hand and if you do this card becomes the name of the monster set and during the end phase of this card's in your graveyard you can target one other light warrior monster besides this so you could target the jack king or queen's nine you may have sent shuffle into the deck and then add this card directly to your hand so it helps recycle it which is great which i like that a lot in fact we're actually going to put that Right there. That is awesome to get one of those guys. Um, but essentially, the combo that you would want to do if you had um, Joker's Knight and, say, I think, uh, King's Knight in your hand. You special summon Joker's Knight by sending Queen's Knight to the graveyard. It's treated as Queen's Knight. You then summon King's Knight, and then due to King's Knight's effect, since you have Queen, you have a Queen's Knight in the form of Joker, you get to summon Jack's Knight from your deck. So basically, you get... All three of them out all at once, which is really good. All right. Wind up Arsenal Zen Moy, I believe that's how I call it. Eternal Bond, Infinite Cards, Warrior Returning Alive, Converging Wishes, Unexpected Die, and XYZ Hyper Cannon. Not gonna lie, guys, that is probably one of the one cards, uh, one of the cards in this set. I am not a big I'm not a big fan of it. I'm really am not. I mean, if you're gonna name a card i forgot about that i die but if you're gonna have name a card after like a creature and things like that, like you know like sometimes they make cards that have you know you name after the creatures attack and they have good effects like um you know like um you know white lightning attack meteor flare you know there's those certain cards that have really good effects and they benefit the creature with that one this one not only is it a trap which i hate but it just if you read the if you know the effects of it it's not good and i'm not even gonna bore you guys with it because it's not worth it all right sex weapon leo arms gray keeper spy utopia ray ultimate shield pendulum transfer another pod duality and another world legacy guard dragon so we'll put you right on top of the other one and uh keep that pot of duality off to the side okay they're doing pretty good so far i think we're about halfway through the box all right get focus camera there we go infinite cards eternal bond Warrior Train Alive, Majestic Dragon, I think that's the first one I actually had my pulled, Ultimate Shield, Cloud Castle, and Scrap Twin Dragon. Pretty good card for the Scrap guys, I won't lie, I think uh, personally I would do the OG Scrap Dragon versus Scrap Twin Dragon, that's just me. Alrighty. Constellar M7. Queen's Knight, first one we actually put in this box. Another Dazzling Fusion. Another Zolga. Cloud Castle. Jack King's Knight. And Magnet Induction. New card that they just put in the set as well. Uh, helps out with the Magnet Warrior, guys, which I'm surprised that none of the Magnet Warriors are even featured in this set, weirdly enough. Um, I will say this, however. The fact that it's just kind of, you know, kind of odd. The way that the wording is could be make the fact even better or worse. 
Hey Austin, nothing much. Just uh, doing some Yu-Gi-Oh card openings. Hopefully we can get a collector's rare or millennium uh, millennium rare. I think that's what they're calling the um, the one rarity of the god cards. I could I could be completely wrong, but if I am, so be it. Can try to fix these. Gosh darn it. I'm trying I'm trying to make them to where they go move around as much. All right. Uh, wine of Arsenal Zenmo. Eternal Bond. Infinite. Warrior returning alive. Converging wishes. I don't know if you like to put it on the sidelines. And another scrap twin dragon. I think so far. I think since we got the evil czar and the jokers now, I think those are our two um, our two big pulls that come in this box. But you never know. We could get something lucky. We could get a collector rare. If we do, that'd be awesome. All right, Dreadroot, Pendulum Transfer, Eagle Claw, Jax Knight, Utopia, Zenmo, and another White Rose Cluster, or Cloister. Put that right on top there. Move Joker's Knight down a little bit, just so that way. Okay. Converging Wishes, Rescue Rabbit, Arcana Extra Joker, Kinsellar M7, Wicked Dreadroot, Wicked Eraser, and the Court of Cards. Again, a new card at the same time. Um, but I won't lie, guys, this is probably the one card that came from this set that features with the Jack King Queen Knights that I'm not planning on playing. It does make sense to me, and it just, it's not that great of a card. I don't usually follow. I don't really follow politics, my man. I just don't. Don't get into that trash. Alrighty. Majestic Dragon, Utopia, Jailon, Arcana Extra Joker, Pendulum Exceeds, Ties of the Brethren, and a Crystal Girl. This is actually one card that I need. I'm actually gonna put the, keep her on the sidelines as well because I actually need her for my god deck depending on if I can get um, Guardian Slimes and Egyptian God Slimes easier. Um, for those of you that may know those cards but now don't really understand where I'm going with this, Crystal Girl's got a pretty decent effect that when it's summoned, you can you uh, during the end phase after her summoning, you can add a level five or higher water monster from your deck to your hand, which lets you add guard, which is essentially an instant guardian slime. If you guys know what guardian slime's effect is, anytime you take damage, you can immediately summon guardian slime from your hand and you know directly to the field. Its effects are pretty good where its attack points become basically the attack points of the monster that it battles. But the main reason you want it on the field is because it's an instant way you can get Egyptian God Slime, which if you know what Egyptian God Slime is, basically, you know, if you don't know what that is, Level 10 monster, it's a fusion monster that can either be fusion summoned using a water attribute monster and a level 10 monster, or you can special summon it from the extra deck using a combinate, using just a level 10 water monster if you have that um, all by itself, which is absolutely crazy, which I cannot believe what's gonna, you know, all that stuff that's gonna happen, which is crazy. Um, but I don't plan on running her unless I can actually get, hence, get the uh, the other stuff which is hence why I uh, don't plan on using um, I don't plan on using her unless I can get the other stuff you know all right infinite cards eternal bond warrior turning alive majestic dragon ultimate shield loud castle and another XYZ hyper cannon I think, uh, all right. I think, yeah, no. probably go through the rest uh, Austin, thank you for the sub, my man. Much appreciated. Okay. Let's see. We've got about, eh, I think about five more packs left in here. Seller M7, Queen's Knight, Dowsing Fusion. That's a you thing, T. That's a you thing. Cloud Castle, King's Knight, and. Got to be kidding me, dude! It's not a collector's rare, but oh my god, yes! 
Brothers, we just pulled, this is the second one, two boxes now, I pulled this a second time. Number F0, Utopic Draco Future, baby. Again, it's not a collector's rare, I can definitely tell it's not, but that's so sick because this guy, I think, is going, his price has definitely gone down, but he's still a, he's still a great card. Still a great card. Obviously, like I said, the price has gone down. I think he's only about $30, $30 right now. I'm not 100%. Probably could get maybe 40 for him. It's a shame that I never got him when the set first came out because he was sell, going for like... um, He was going for like, you know, 70 at best. But that's still a set that we pulled. I mean, that's still good for any deck. All right. Golden Eyes Idol, Utopic Future, Pendulum Exceeds, Arcane Knight Joker, followed by Rivalry of the Warlords, Reinforcement of the Army, and the Joker's Wild Trap card. This is another card that I needed. I say needed because I don't need it anymore um, due to the fact that I have what I want from it. So basically the way that this card works is... Um, during main or battle phase, send a spell from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists all Queen, King, or Jack's Knight, which I believe that, like, for Jack Strait or something like that, for example, I'm not 100%. Um, this effect becomes that spell's effect when this card is that card is activated uh, during the end phase. If this card is in your graveyard, target a light warrior monster in your graveyard, shove to the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. So that's pretty, pretty darn good. Gonna put. Uh, looks like we can make some room right, right about here. Right there it works. You can still see it. Okay, let's see. Awesome. That's uh, that's not something that I want to put on camera, dude. All right, you guys. All right, let's see here. Here, let me just get the box out of the way. Actually, yeah, we got about five, four more packs after this one. So. Bam. There we go. Wicked Eraser, Arcane and a Joker, Gravekeeper Spy, Utopia Ray, Reinforcement of the Army, Zazine, and a Phantom of the Yangzing. Boo. Gonna put that reinforcement on the side though. Uh, day in life, <laughs> go to work, come home, go to work and go home. That's pretty much it. And stream for you guys, of course. Yeah, no kidding, ladies and gentlemen, no tails. Okay. Get that better. Still cannot believe. I mean, again, it's not that expensive a card, guys, but it's still stuck that we pulled that. If we get a collector's rare from this, I cannot wait for that. Virgin Wishes, Rescue Rabbit, Arcana Extra Joker, Constellar M7, Wicked Dreadroot, Wicked Eraser, and Magnet Induction. Another one of that. So we'll put that right there get anything no all right coming down the other wire i think the hot tub streams guys personally i think that's just a fade you know it's a fade thing and i think personally i think twitch is gonna hunker down those i don't first of all one i don't have the room for a hot tub stream if you guys can see the room and two that's more of a check thing that's just me all right, Yang Zing, Jack Knight, Highs of the Brethren, Tornado Brainer, Jiao Long, Eagle Claw, and the number 49 Fortune Tune. Huh, first one we actually pulled this set so far. Well, I, I pulled, I think, one or two the other day. Um, that's still pretty good. Again, a lot of these aren't that uh, totally expensive. Again, probably, like I said, the future, uh, Draco future, I could probably get probably 30 for it. Uh, Joker's Knight, since I'm keeping that, um, you know, obviously nothing. And then the Dolka, I will probably keep, uh, that could probably go for five, maybe? I'll have to double check. That's still not bad. All right. Majestic Dragon, Utopia, Sarda Xiaolong, Arcana Extra Joker, and Joe McSee, Highs the Brethren, and Fortune Tune. Hmm. Well, can't be wrong with your Fortune Tune. Still a decent card. Again, dude, I don't have the room for it, man. Not the point, guys. Not the point. 
Again. Why do I feel like even though this is supposed to be about Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like the chat's completely on a different subject? Well, obviously they are, but that's beside the point. All right. Last one. Topic Future. Wayne's Knight. Odd Duality. Keep that off the side. Wicked Avatar. Eagle Claw. Rescue Rabbit. And another Joker's Wild and Anon Collector Rare. But... That's okay. That's still pretty decent. I mean, pretty good assortment of cards, if you guys admit. I mean, we definitely did get some some good wide variety of different things. Obviously, that's what these type of special edition sets are known for. But uh, I think that will be where we'll end. I mean, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, we didn't make it to the sub goal, but that's perfectly okay. It happens. But whatever um you guys still have the opportunity if you guys want to see me open up another one of these sets please make sure to uh you know you guys enjoyed the video whether you got when you guys are going to see this on youtube please make sure that if you guys enjoyed the video you like you comment hashtag to the end if you made it to this point from the beginning of the video you subscribe turn notifications on all that good stuff guys and i will see you all next time this is your man the authority signing off for now and i'll see you next time when i'm back on your screens and in your faces